Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Wow, I got a lot of feedback on yesterday's tune-up about television. And I appreciate your support and your thoughts on this. Many of you agreed, and I even had some people expound upon it and wanted me to talk about other things. And there was a unanimous comment about the program called Real Housewives. And one of the things I got from one of my viewers is that a lot of modeling goes on when we allow our children to watch a program like that. First of all, there's nothing real about any of those women that are in, in that television program. They're living in a state of what I call affluenza, very affluent. They're not anything real about them at all that's very relatable about most of you and the way we live our lives, which is normal, whatever normal is. Those programs glorify arguing, disagreements, greed, cruelty, and materialism, and very, very uh, shallow attitudes about humanity, life, and what's important in life. Many of you mothers had commented on the fact that their little girls are fascinated by that and they can see a direct correlation to what they go at the mall and look for and shop for and want to dress like. And I had one particular gentleman who is not married at this time, said his former wife, her and her daughter, his daughter also, watched that program and he could see a direct influence on that child. So here's my comment on this, since I work with so many people, with families and kids, a lot of people bring their kids here wanting me to change them and have them overcome all of the bad attitudes and allowing that the parents have created through bringing these children up. And this isn't me putting any of you down. I know how difficult it is right now to be working two or three jobs, attempting to raise a family and be a positive influence on your kids. But here's where you start. It starts at home by teaching values. And you can watch that program with one of your children and simply bring up some of the negativity and the values in that program so the child can see the contrast. The child in, is very innocent in this because they don't really know. It's your job to teach them. I want us all to really pay attention to this. And if you have grandchildren and you're daughter or son are working very hard to help raise a child, maybe they're in a broken home or maybe they're just all working to save their home right now. If you're a grandparent, you could have a lot to do with helping get them to understand these things as well, helping your kids raise their kids without mingling and intermingling, just help them understand what's going on with these kids' values. It's all coming from television. It's all coming from the culture and the media that we have created that we seemingly can't live without. If they're going to watch TV, we have to have a full court presence on really, really letting them know the ramifications of those negative kind of behaviors. And that really isn't real housewives of New York City or real housewives of Orange County. Those dramas that are being played out on a screen, again, as I say over and over again, since I've been in the television business for years and know about the media business, is all about capital. It's all about raising capital. It's all about money. It's all about making money and ratings. Let's work on changing this with our families. There's a lot of good stuff on television, too. Television is an amazing medium that can help people. And I agree with entertainment. I love to be entertained as much as anyone. Be very selective on what you let in your mind. Once it's in there, it never leaves. And these things that we're programming our kids with, what they're watching on television, even at an, or in a later age, even as a, as a young adolescent, still have an effect on us. It even has an effect on us as adults. So let's take a little bit more responsibility and pay attention to this and really teach those values and let them start seeing the contrast of what's real and not real and how that's really fantasy land on there and it's just a show. All right. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary thanking all of you for your feedback. And I did want to comment on that in this tune-up today. And I welcome all your feedback. So let me hear what you think. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day without TV. Bye-bye.